Alright, so in this video we're going to go over installing the Tor browser on our Kali machine. Um, for this, we're going to do it on the virtual. I have a video down below on how to install Kali virtually, but the steps are the same if you're doing it on a physical machine or a virtual machine. So our virtual machine is coming up here. Now, unless you have a second non-admin user, you'll need to log in with your root user. And we're doing this because the Tor browser will not install if you are on a root user account. And if your Kali is like mine, you only have at least the one user. So we need to make a non-root user account. And it's simple as opening up the command prompt here, typing in add user space dash dash home. This is going to create the home directory of our user. And the name of it is going to be the same name as what the username will be. So this is the directory. And then we're going to actually create the user itself. If I can type right. Okay. So it's going to go through the steps of creating it. And I'm going to set up a password. Uh, full name, you can give it a name if you want. We're just going to call it test for now. Room number, blank, phone, blank, home phone, blank, other, blank. Uh, information is correct, yes. Okay, it now has created our user. So, all we need to do is log off. Don't shut down, just log off that root user. And now we can log in with our second user we just made. Okay, so we just logged in. Uh, you can get this welcome screen here. Let's use default config. Okay, so open up a web browser. And we're going to need to go out to the Tor website and download the installer. And it's going to open up all these links. So I just close them out. Spell it right. Okay, so there we go. I'll have a link down below for the Taurus site. And scroll down, uh, select your language for us, English. And this is a 32 bit machine, so we'll download just the 32 bit version. And we want to save it pretty quick 72 meg. Alright, and that's it for this part. I'm going to switch back over to our command prompt. And we need to navigate out to our downloads folder. So, um, if you're new, you know we're at our home directory already, but you can hit ls to show adjacent directories. So there's our downloads, so we can just hit change directory, backslash, case sensitive, download. Maybe. Change directory. Oh. I don't need a backslash. Okay. So there we are. LS, we can see here is our tar. So we need to unpack this. And yeah, pretty easy. We need to name it. So T A R. And it's going to be dash X V capital J F space T O. And you hit tab, and tab will just autofill the uh, file that it sees. Hit enter. It is unpacking it. And we can even go in here for downloads. See, here is the original, and here is the unpack. And just let it go for a minute. Okay, so now it's finished. We're going to do another change directory. We're going to go into that tour folder that it just made, you see in the background. 
and dot forward slash start enter and there it is so here's our Tor browser and um, we're just going to hit connect and this doesn't take very long I think we'll go ahead and stop the video for now and come back. Okay, so it's finished installing and here we are. Now we have Tor Browser on our Linux box. Thank you for watching. Links to any tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you or if you'd like to see a video on another topic. Thank you for watching.